Major Maisel, here for her 9 o'clock. Nice and punctual. Here's the script. Thank you, sir. It's a spot for business in the Bronx. Playing a four-year-old girl? I guess so. Why didn't you just get a four-year-old girl? They can't read. Check the mic. One, two. I'm a little girl. Here's my next source of nightmares. So it's just you today. We fill in the dad part later. Got it. Rolling. Look at that. I want it. Sounds good. Next line. It's so big, Daddy. Wait. What? Is this pornography? It's not pornography. It sounds like pornography. It's not pornography. Keep going from the last line. It's so big, Daddy. I want to lick it. This is pornography. Definitely pornography. No, no, look. She's a kid out with her dad. He's buying her an ice cream bar. Yeah, at a cat house. Not at a cat house. This is pornography. It's not pornography. You're gay? That's right. How do you know this? Are you an idiot? I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, golly, that just opens us up to hours of speculation, doesn't it? You're gay? You have a problem. No, well, you do. I know you think you're allowed to do whatever you want, but when you lie to Katie, you do not get a free pass from me. Whoa, well, wait, what are you talking about? Now, how can you not see that he's been leading you on? Please, please, tell her that you have not hidden the fact that you're gay so that you can get her to get me to use my inheritance to build your little personal surgery palace at Memorial. No problem. I didn't hide the fact that I'm gay. Then why didn't she know? I did. You did? For five years until what? Can you unlock the phone? Of course I can. It's my phone. Of course, you'd have to untie me first. Yeah, but don't try anything. Wouldn't dream of it. If you come at me, I could kill you without meaning to. Yes, I assure you, I'm no fool. Well, in point of fact, I, I, I can be quite foolish on any number of subjects, but I have a healthy instinct for self-preservation. Having attacked you once and lived to tell the tale, I won't tempt fate a second time. I know. You're not exactly a wellspring of information, are you? But when you selfishly went out on the deck, you said that you needed to think. So, what did you think about? I was thinking about home. Home? Well, I suppose I should sympathize. I myself am partial to my own home. Hence my efforts to save it. Hence my ill-advised dealings with Russian investors. Hence my needing to travel incognito. Hence my being here with you instead of in first class on a non-stop flight from St. Petersburg to LaGuardia. Not only would there be complimentary champagne and a full bar, there might be an actual chance at conversation. What do you want to talk about? Anything, man. My God, have you ever used a complex sentence in your life? Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Your mommy came here to lose weight, and she worked very, very hard to be the best mommy she could ever be and live a long and full life with the three people that she loves the most. Now, aren't you proud of her? I want my mommy! Kid, I've been working on TV since I was four. You need to pull it together. I... Hey! <laughs> Say what? <laughs> God, God, what, I'm gonna get your judgment now? Don't you dare to turn that on me! No, 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 sweetie, no, 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 no. Not you, not you. I wouldn't judge you. God, it's just so, it's so good to see you. Uh, boy, I behave like an ass. No, you know what? I was under a lot of pressure here, okay? Okay, are you okay, Henry? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, you know? You know, I'm totally in charge here, okay? In charge of what? <laughs> me? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, God, oh, God, leave him. Don't let him talk to you like that. <laughs> uh, okay. What's going on? What's, what, what's going on? No, I'm just a little antsy, you know? I'm a little antsy. I apologize. I'm really, I'm really so, so sorry. Would you give me back my body, you crazy dick? Dead man? I'm sorry, dude, okay? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna hang on to a little bit longer, you dig? Yeah, I dig. I totally dig. I'm gonna dig you a whole new grave as soon as I'm out here for good. You know what I'm trying to do out here, okay? You know what I'm trying to do? Yes, I know! Exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to use me to get to her, but you're dead and I'm alive, and I can't put up with much, much more of this because I'm gonna absolutely lose my temper. I want my life back, but I'm sorry! You gotta have it, you're too damn light! Kim Hughes, please. Kim Hughes. Yes, hello. Um, my name is Geneva Swift, Miss Geneva Swift, and I'd like to file a complaint. Ah, uh, yes, Miss Swift, go on. I was appalled watching Oakdale Now today. That brunette co-host, and I use the term loosely, she was downright obscene. How could you subject your loyal viewers to, to the sight?
sight of her unleashed frontal appendage, and in high definition, no less. I'm just desperately sorry that we have so offended you. Oh, oh, oh offended is an understatement. It was disgraceful. If I wanted to watch pornography, I wouldn't have blocked it from my TV system. Oh, I thought I was safe, Miss Hughes. W.O.A.K. used to be a family station. What happened today was totally unintentional. Oh, I don't know about that. Oakdale now is not what it used to be, madam. Not since you put that Swedish tart on the show. Stop it. Oh, I will not stop it, okay? He doesn't even deserve to practice medicine. Look what he did to me. He broke your finger. No, it's it's a sprain. So how did it happen? I, I I slammed it in a door. That's not the point. Look at this humiliating splint that he's made me wear. I've been I've been slapped by three old ladies today who thought I was being rude.